Mr. Henney, I understand that you are suing your ex-girlfriend, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so what happened in this lovely relationship? Five months after we moved in together, you know, we kind of, she started picking arguments with me. Like, these were different arguments, not mm -hmm. the regular moody Denise arguments that we have, but these were different types of arguments. And she has this one friend. She actually has three friends. One of them is Maya, and the other two I bought were the Pomeranians. So her You don't have a lot of friends, Miss Henry? Um, I do have a lot of friends, just the friend that I have here in court, she's been my friend since we were nine, we go back, we're like sisters, okay. so she was around a lot. Then what happened, Mr. Henney, why, why are we here? In short, it's Maya's fault, but let me tell you the story. Okay, tell me. So, we're driving home, and she tells me that Maya saw me with another girl out in some restaurant and at a bar, and hmm. she accused me of cheating on her. Ooh. And mind you, have like... You, I, I'm gonna ask, yes. because... This is like a soap opera. Sometimes I feel these cases. Uh, but I'm going to ask, have you ever cheated on her? Never. Has Never she you her. ever cheated on him? I don't even I have cheat never cheated on him. Okay. So and Maya basically puts it in Denise's, Denise's ear that you are cheating with her because why? Because mm -hmm. she, she saw me one week and I was at a restaurant with a lady and I was also at a bar Which with a lady. About? Hmm. And, I mean, I also kind of want to point out that, you know, women kind of outnumber men two to one in this world. So a lot of times if you're out, you might just be with a lady. Like, okay. Doesn't All right, Ma Maya, why don't you get up? So you saw Richard in two different places with the same girl? Yes, Your Honor. And how do you know they were cheating? Or what was it about, what was going on between them the that you were convinced? The way they were pampering each other, uh -huh. most like, likely. How, what do you mean by pampering? Um, he will, like, sh the girl will, like, lead into his uh, um, shoulder and he will like hug her and this times where I seen him coming out of the bar and they gave themselves a big huge long long hug okay so then that to you giving each other did you ever at, go up to Richard and say hey listen what's going on here I approached him on the first time that I saw him did she approach you the first time she saw you I don't even remember, but in her defense, Your Honor, she doesn't really have many, she doesn't seem like the person that would have many friends or loved ones, mm -hmm. so she could easily <laughs> misconstrue some platonic love <laughs> for romantic love. Okay, so you no, didn't no, approach no, no. Richard and say, what's going on here? You just assumed the worst. No, I just approached him and I, and I told him, hi, good evening, Richard, and he looked at me like surprisedly. He didn't even know I was there. Okay. All right, so then you went home and you told Denise, or you called your girlfriend and she you told didn't, me. I didn't say that the first time. I just waited because I didn't want to get into it right away. I didn't want so to judgmental. So you saw him again uh, a couple it, weeks later and you told Denise what? I told Denise about it. All right, so then um, take it from there, Richard. Well, so we're, me and Denise, we're driving home and she's basically, she starts crying. And, you know, I still, at this time, I'm still, like, madly in love with her. And so I start to, you know, I become vulnerable. So I'm like, what's wrong? And then she tells me yeah. that, well, somebody said that you were cheating on me. Somebody. It's always mm -hmm. somebody. Mm -hmm. I knew who somebody yeah. was right away. So, mm -hmm. of course, I don't like her. So I got pissed. Like, mm -hmm. you're calling me a liar. Like, mm -hmm. that's the one thing that... You told her I'm not cheating on you, did No. Why would I cheat and on you? And you didn't believe him? I did not believe Why him. Why didn't you believe just him? Just the details that Maya finally revealed to me, just saying What how was it that Maya said she that convinced told me that, you he was de Um She told me that they were very close at the restaurant and at the bar the second meeting. He picked up the tab. He was pulling her chair out. They were walking very close together, just looking like it was a first few dates mm. with a new woman. So then what happened? So then you so guys I go continue the house. arguing. We, we go, I go inside the house. She actually brings me a cup of water, and I think it was she wanted to calm me down. And I tell you, I love the lady. She's like, she's crazy, but I still love her. No. So she brought me some water. I drank the water. I laid down. And the next thing you know, like I had a full head of hair. Like I had a full set of locks. That's what actually attracted her to me. And I wake up, and there's a patch missing. Like a patch in the top of my head. That's and I look true. over, and I see the locks on the bed. With a, I mean, did you cut his dreadlocks? I did, Your Honor. And that's and funny. It's not funny. I, I you know, I understand What did you that, cut his dreadlocks, that that's the dreadlocks with? A scissor? I cut him with the scissors and I cut on the back of his head where it wouldn't be very obvious. Um, we so, got did you hammocks. give him something to sleep? I did. I, what did you give him? I did give him some sleeping pills. Um, some? One, two, three, four, um, five? Just three. Do you normally and take sleeping pills? I don't know. I don't need sleeping pills. I sleep pretty well. He was acting really did, did, what, I mean, did you read the instructions on the sleeping pill? Um, did didn't. you see I, how many I, he should have taken? I, I know I didn't. I, 
you know, I, Your Honor, um, no, I, 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 I don't want to hear anything from you. I, you know, I didn't, I, why just, is this funny know, to you? It's not funny. It was just that he was in such a rage that night that so I, so it was therapeutic as you say, right? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I just felt that he needed to calm down. So what down. happened? You woke up the next morning, you realized the love of your life, the woman that you worshipped, cut your dreads off. <clears throat> she just admitted she gave you some sleeping dreads. pills. I just cut a few. I was furious, I did not cut all of Like, them. I could have, I could have done anything. So like, what'd you do? Did you break up with her? I mean, she was gone. Like, she left me this note here. Let me see. Just, Bernard. This is crazy. She didn't even have the decency to write me like a paragraph. It was just like a sentence. Well, I mean, you broke my heart. I'm sorry. Says, thanks for cheating on I didn't me. Actually break cheating your heart. On her Maya broke your heart. Maya broke your heart. Cheating on her. Well, you were cheating on who her. Who was I with, Maya? Okay. With a lady. I don't even know. Really? Hmm. I never seen her around us. So you're suing her for $3,000? Yes. Okay, for. I believe that, like, my hair. My father's hair, my grandfather's hair, like we're, my father and my grandfather practice Rastafarianism. Okay. I didn't really practice it that much, mm -hmm. but out of respect and reverence for my father, I had my hair, I've been growing my hair since I was five years old. Okay. I really feel like the $3,000 is really okay. not That's even ridiculous. close to what it actually costs, mm -hmm. but I really feel like something like this, there has to be some sort of repercussions. Okay. No. All right, so you Bernard, have to can, cut you, all your hair. can you bring the, uh, the witness, please? Witness. I'm an investment banker, Your Honor. Hulk Hogan was able to pull I'm it off, sorry. but I wouldn't I have been able to pull it off. I did not cut all your dreads off. She this didn't just... call them off. You cut them off by your own choice. Okay. Um, can you tell me your name, please? Valerie. And um, do you, Denise, do you, Denise, do you recognize this young lady? I do, actually. Who is she? This is Richard's cousin. Okay. And Maya, who's this girl? The lady that was with him on the bar and the dinner. Uh -huh. And can I ask you what, what was happening? Why you, were you out with your cousin? I was uh, basically, I've been consulting my cousin for a while now because I've been having issues with my ex-husband. Mm -hmm. um, he cheated on me recently, so I just drove out and hang, hung out with my cousin for a while just to kind of get away. Mm. Anything you want to say, Denise? I'm, I feel kind of bad now that what I've done to him, um, I wasn't aware Maya, that it was his cousin. He never told me it was his cousin, so I was not sure of whom the woman was. Well, he was. had no idea what you were talking about. You were accusing him of cheating with somebody. Who the heck was he supposed to say I'm cheating with when he wasn't cheating? Our because cousin. he was actually telling the truth. I'm really shocked that it was his cousin. He never told me that she was in town, and I just assumed that it was somebody else. You drugged him, first of all, gave him sleeping pills that you have no idea Good. how that would have affected him. You actually almost committed a battery on him because you touched him without his permission. You cut his hair off. He had no right to do that. Absolutely no right to do that. And you sit there now, a complete fool of yourself. You have to stop hanging out with people who are manipulative, who uh, don't have the best interest for you, such as your girlfriend Maya, because I don't believe she does. I think that Richard did, uh, but unfortunately, you completely ruined that. So, uh, based on the evidence, Richard, I will grant your three thousand dollar claim. Good luck. I'm so sorry that this happened to you, and oh my God. good luck to you, Denise. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay three thousand dollars. Hope you learned your lesson today about assuming things. I have learned my lesson, and I hope you can forgive me sometimes.